If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how is it easy to help dyslexics outperform non-dyslexics in less than a day. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of the powerful Smart Wisdom Next Generation Note-Taking and Planning Technique. I've been helping people to manage knowledge more effectively for the past 20 years. I am dyslexic. I wasn't diagnosed as dyslexic until in my late 40s, and the impact of, of dyslexia on my life was huge, and it was negative. In my mid-30s, I went to university, and um, at the two years that I was there doing postgraduate courses, I developed techniques for managing information more effectively. I then took this knowledge out into my workplace eventually, and I started helping my clients, mainly people working in the city of London, mainly non-dyslexic actually, to help them to raise their performance by managing knowledge more effectively in their day-to-day -day work. Now, the reason it's so easy to help dyslexics outperform non-dyslexics is because the important society places on new inf the understanding of information whether it's at school or in education, you know, in classes and lectures, or whether it's in the workplace, and it could be in meetings, um, presentations, when you're interviewing someone. We place huge importance, and quite rightly so, on the ability to understand information. And this is the opportunity. Because we have, as human beings, we have very limited number of techniques for managing information. And these all put a structural limit a structural ceiling on what we're capable of doing. If we can go through that ceiling or break that ceiling, as the English expression goes, the world's your oyster. Let me explain. So really we've got only three ways of managing knowledge. Um, whether we're in an education environment or work environment, we can sit and listen, in which case we're immediately restricted. We're immediately restricted by the, um, I'm going to, STM, which is the short-term memory, and they say it's roughly seven plus or minus two chunks of information. And then there is what they call the fade rate. So we forget about, you know, around 65% after 48 hours. So listening is a real problem. There is another thing, which I'll just put it in here, which is called cognitive load. And we're really restricted by the number of brain activities we can do in any point, any moment in time. Another way is to use notes. The second we start using note, notes, it's a recording technique. And because we're recording and not processing, it puts a cap on our understanding. And the next thing is if you use a laptop, actually, it's no better and maybe even worse because you're still using effectively note-taking, you're just doing it on a laptop, and again, it's a recording device, which puts a cap on the understanding. Now, a team of cognitive neuroscientists tested this, and real-time understanding when you're, when you're doing traditional notes, um, they included bullets, mind mapping, came to about 64%, which is okay, but it can be a lot better. And the way it can be a lot better, the secret behind it is to process information. To process information, convert it into knowledge, and then manage that knowledge. If you can do that, it changes everything. And this is why it's so easy for dyslexics to outperform non-dyslexics, because most non-dyslexics are doing this. So what do I mean by processing, um, I'm going to use the word knowledge. What, what do I mean by processing knowledge and managing knowledge? Well, very simply, what you need is a technique which has a number of ingredients. It needs to be able to filter what you're listening to. You need to be able to separate all the knowledge into separate units. You then need to be able to connect all those individual uh, bits of knowledge together, and you need to be able to learn how to structure it and be able to do this at speaking speed. If you can do that, then your brain is proactively working that knowledge, which by default, obviously, is going to increase your understanding. And I'll give you an example. Whoops. 
So here we've got, there is a need to find one good approach to help improving understanding and to help increase the confidence. Now, instead of recording either exactly or part of it, we're now gonna process that knowledge. So the first thing, if you remember, is to filter. So to identify what is the important knowledge. And here it's probably need, it's one, it's good, it's approach, it's probably improve, understanding, whoops, um, increase and confidence. Then if you remember, the next key step is to reconnect that together. So you, you put it on a structure and it's literally as simple as this. And then we go approach. And then we go improve understanding. So improve understanding. And then wherever there's an and, there's a natural break, um, increase confidence. So here comes the natural break, increase confidence. So you'll notice here I'm abbreviating words, my spelling's not great, but actually here I'm not, I'm not interested in that. So that's not distracting me. For me, the primary objective is to understand the knowledge real time. Now by processing it, this, this changes everything. Now, the, co the cognitive neuroscientists tested people after, after two weeks of learning this type of uh, technique, and they found that real-time understanding went up 12%. So that's up to 76%. They then tested a group of dyslexics who'd been using this technique for a year or more, and the result was staggering their real-time understanding went up to 87%. That's a 23% increase in real-time understanding. So in those lectures, classes, presentations, meetings, above that which non-dyslexics can achieve if they're either sitting and listening, taking notes, or using laptops. That is transformational. And you can, you can imagine, I use this technique. Um, it just revolutionizes things. I know I can go into any situation and I can get up to speed real time with a really high level of understanding. And it, it's transformational. I, I feel more confident. I have a higher belief in what I can do. And it just, it feels really fabulous. So, it's really simple. If you want to help dyslexics outperform non-dyslexics in less than a day with a really easy technique, this is it. If you've got your own way of doing this, but it specifically fo follows this format, then please do. Otherwise, please do feel free to come and learn Smart Wisdom. The most important thing, regardless of your preferences or your learning styles, if you decide not to do this, you're gonna be doing this and restricted. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, please do press like and obviously comment, you know, what you your thoughts about this. And most importantly, if you know of anyone anywhere in the world who wants to help dyslexics outperform dyslexics, non-dyslexics rather, so dyslexia, I'm getting confused. So if you want to help dyslexics outperform non-dyslexics in less than a day, then please, please do share this video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a brilliant rest of the day.